over the better entry algorithm for the money management algorithms for Ninja Trader 8. And I'm using the uh, V reversal combo 24, which combines V reversal 2 and V reversal 4 to show the demonstration of how this setup works. And so the base strategy is on the left. You see V reversal 2024 combo right here. A couple of losing trades recently on this strategy. And here is the performance summary for this setup. It goes through winning streaks, losing streaks, drawdowns. So you can see it It has 103,000. This is going back uh, the last two years. The V reversals have been very active. There's been um, 372 trades. Average trade 277.20, max drawdown of 12.135. And over here on the right, I've simply asked the better entry algorithm, which is the pinpoint entry in the money management algorithm, to take the trades only when they're in a $300 loss. Wait for a $300 loss to start taking the trade, and you get 215 trades. You, you skip some trades, you miss some trades. Um, the um, 99 800 so you have uh, the total profit is four thousand dollars roughly about thirty two hundred dollars less and this is actually this is going back four years on this data but it's only going to test uh, the data that's on the left so it wouldn't take trades beyond what you already see on the window on the left because it's looking at the window on the left I'll show you the inputs in a minute $464 average trade profit really boosts that. What's really nice is it really lowers the drawdown. $47.25. And you can take a look at the equity curve. And you're just, you know, you're waiting. Most of the time when you get in a strategy, it goes against you a little bit. And 300 points is only 15, $300 is only 15 points in the NASDAQ. And so waiting for a 15 point adverse excursion in the NASDAQ. You can see the trade start on 225 over here, even though we go back four years because it's looking at the strategy on the left. So now I'm going to show you the inputs on this. The One of the nice things about the money management algorithms is on NinjaTrader, you're able to put plots within the strategy. So the strategies can include plots, and you can look at uh, some of the plots that they're using down below. Um, let's take a look at the strategy here. This is the money management algorithm Rev 8. And I'm going to disable it so these these will show up a little better. So if I select apply, you can see these inputs a little bit better. And so let's look at the inputs here. And so you can select the master strategy name. So we're on the NASDAQ. Uh, the gap fill combo trades the S&P. But we're looking at the capstone view reversal com combination 24. And that is a strategy. One uh, Trading one contract, you can use the limit entry. Um, and then specify the limit entry points. We're just getting in at the close minus zero for longs at the close plus zero for shorts. This strategy right here is a long only strategy. Uh, stop order, stop entry, and then the number of stop points, the pinpoint entry, or you can uh, do a market entry, um, which doesn't have any additional input. So there's four different ways to do this. Limit entry, market entry, stop entry, or the pinpoint entry. Pinpoint entry gets you in at a better entry price also there's there's two ways to do that is on the entry is on the entry it's also you can also do that in rule six pinpoint entry and we've specified that it has to be down three hundred dollars at the close of the bar then we'll use a limit entry um, at the close minus zero points for those long trades and so you scroll down you see all the inputs here None of these uh, rules are active unless there is a 1. If you have a 1 there, then that rule is active. And right now, the only rule that's active is the pinpoint entry on the um, these inputs. These are the inputs for these entries. And so none of these inputs matter unless it's selected here. So for example, rule 1, moving average, if that was a 1, then these inputs would be relevant. They're not relevant because the only one that's selected here is pinpoint uh, rule 6 pinpoint entry so rule 6 says $300 you're down $300 you can get in none of these other inputs there's a lot of inputs here but they're not relevant or being used because there's not a 1 next to the uh, relevant input so example rule 11 RSI uh, open equity 
if that was selected, then you come down here to this rule 11 RSI, then you have your look back period and your RSI threshold. And so that would be trading if the RSI is above a certain level. And let's keep going down. You can use a max daily entries, which is selecting one uh, long start time, uh, 9.30 to 15.30. So even though this strategy will trade between 9.30 and 14.30, we're saying 15.30 because if it pulls back um, after the entry, uh, X entry window, you can still get in on the money management algorithm. It elects it at 1610, same time as the money management algorithm using the same stop loss and profit target, but we also have the sync exit with master. So on a closed bar basis, this will get out when the master when the master strategy on the left exits, it will also exit. So if it hits the low of the day, stop down on the low of the day, this will also on the very next bar uh, exit as well. Show master arrays and show rules arrays. That generates the plots at the bottom. So those aren't necessary to run the strategy. But if you want to run the plots. And so um, you come down here. You select um, enabled. You can select uh, fill limit orders on touch if you would like. And these are the other default entries that go with any strategy that you see here um, from the data series down. And... So once again, these are the inputs that are relevant and you can see all the potential options that could be selected for, uh, with four different entry techniques, uh, 13 different rules. Uh, this is an open code solution, so uh, the possibilities are endless and these are the um, inputs for the rules and the strategy parameters to kind of match the original base strategy. So I'm going to apply that again and we'll look at the um, rules once again. Let's apply it under the enabled and um, I'll select OK. It's calculating right there. Pause the video and come back when it's done calculating. So here are the results once again. You can see for example um, the trade on V reversal the way it works is it has a $3,000 stop loss but it also will exit the lows of the day. So if it hits those lows on the rollover, it will also exit there and will not always be a $3,000 stop loss. And you can see that, that it exited the sync exit with the master right there. Also exited at the lows yesterday. And you can see, let's look at the performance summary once again to verify that it's the same performance summary after we re-enabled it with the current inputs and so we do see that um, 99.800 over 47.25 which is much better than 102 over 12 and so almost three times one third of the drawdown roughly um, let's look at this again one half to one third of the drawdown or one I'm sorry one two and a half um, about two and a half actually. So 12,135 versus 47,25 with about the same total net profit. The return over drawdown percentage is much higher. Average trade profit is higher. And so you can see um, on a trade, trade by trade example where this exits, uh, 1802925 or long at 18.051. And this original strategy was long at, we're going back to yesterday's trade. Uh, trying to get in at 15 points better. Uh, long entry at 1806750. This one 18051. And then um, that's based on the closed bar basis, so it could be a little better than 15 points. And then it exited 1802250. And then this exited 1802925 because it's on a closed bar basis and the market bounced a little bit off the off the lows of the day. And so you can see the lows of the day, the market bounced up a little bit, exited at a higher price. And so you see um, the closed equity, the open equity, the market position of the original strategy and the plots down here. And it takes longer to load the strategy when you include the plots. And so um, the closed equity, 103K. This is based on this strategy right here. Um, and this is the open equity roughly 103k and the market position so the market position you see 
is plus one. Got long here, not for very long, and then it's flat. And then you can see um, the pinpoint entry um, where the where the um, where it was basically. You could see that it was about seven hundred and fifty dollars um, against us, and so that we're we're tracking uh, the entry algorithm. We're looking for three hundred, and then it continues to measure it throughout the trade. So whatever rule is selected will be plotted down here. So if a different rule is selected, then a different um, additional plot is added at the bottom of this chart. So that is one of the neat features of this in Ninja Trader 8. And so that is the basic money management algorithm, not the portfolio money management algorithm for Ninja Trader 8. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates strategies and coding tips.